and welcome everyone to another royal vlog i am rj royal how are all you guys doing this is actually a gig vlog so it's actually 11 30 at night the day before right now tomorrow we are going to be doing a graduation party i will also have help a friend of mine cm platinum Chris, you guys have seen him before, I'm pretty sure, in past videos, will be helping me out on this gig, and I am very, being very quiet, because it's almost midnight. And we're off, it's gig day, we're going off to Wallkill, New York, for a graduation party, I'm about to go get gas and get Chris, we're gonna run to the music store, get some, uh, some last minute extra equipment, and then be on our way. Alright, so I'm here, with Chris, and literally... This place is in the middle of nowhere. Um, we literally turned down a road into a prison. <laughs> prison grounds. <laughs> and then, Hogwarts. And then I, the directions the client gave me, it said, turn right at the blinking light. I'm thinking, am I driving to my death here? <laughs> so I turn. we find the blinking light. I turn right, going straight in between two prisons. This prison looks like fucking Hogwarts, as he said. <laughs> and I'm like, I think I might be lost. A couple turns later. We're here, the clubhouse. <laughs> so, gonna see if I can meet up with anybody, tell them that who I am, and then uh, maybe get start setting up, set up a little bit early so we can be done, make sure everything's okay. set up lighting gave us a lot a lot of trouble but we decided just because i bought this new controller and uh with that par bar back there it doesn't really quite work with it so i have to wait until i get my new lights to actually use it so i'm just going to run it in sound active tonight but let's start with uh our system here so starting off with sound one on each side we have the pv dark matter 112s as always powered speakers i do not use passive i have all pa uh, powered in my setup and in the middle we have a Edison Professional M2000 running the center fill. I always hide these behind the facade and on the bottom we have a Behringer 1500 Eurolive I believe it's called the full name as a subwoofer. Moving on the lighting we have a mini 60 watt UFO looming moving head one on each side uh, on top of T-bar trusses that's the par bar the RG laser up there as well not running fog tonight because in this venue you see i got a smoke detector right there smoke detector there's another one right here so I smoke detector right there off of here so i'm not sure exactly how well that'll work and there's an alarm right there so i'm just gonna 
not run Fog tonight and see what happens. Um, Shabby OB10 running uh, the moving heads. What I wanted to use for the part bar was the brand new ADJ light controller, but um, nope, that didn't want to work today. New Mark Party Mix Mixer and HP running Virtual DJ. And that's about it. We are actually pretty early. The event doesn't start till 6 and it is 2.58, so we'll uh, see what goes on from here. right it's called the clubhouse um, in the town of walk hill it's the uh shaw Gunk activity center and this guy's peeking out the door because i'm vlogging he wants some camera time <laughs> so, yeah basically now it's just a waiting game get this door closed it's basically now just a waiting game playing some little music. I'm gonna replay these songs later at a much louder level. It's just something so and people who are setting up as well have something to set up to. Party started. Do you have any words for the gig luck, sir? Howdy. Howdy? Howdy. How about uh, CM Platinum a Mixer? CM Platinum a Mixer.com. <laughs> to cake. I, I think they're cutting cake right now. So I'm going to turn the music back down during the cake and then we're going to go on with some more dancing throughout the night. Basically having a mosh pit right now.
Don't you? DJ B. Martin. Yeah, that, that sounds like an Italian singer. Uh, it sounds like a little <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna step outside from there for a moment. It's gonna be very green. You could probably barely see me out here. Let me get up. Alright, so we're coming up and we're in the last hour right now. Things are starting to die down. Um, I'm saying to myself, I'm going to be tired of metal after tonight. Jesus. You can probably hear I'm playing. Uh, I cut the cord right now. I'm um, going to end out the hour with a lot of metal. Because we've been mixing back and forth between metal and pop. So I'm going to end out the uh, it with a lot of metal. I've also been running the Chave DJ Hurricane 700. Down there I got a box fan. Creating a haze effect because I don't have an actual hazer. Um, it's been doing a job just the haze also disappears because we have these open doors. So it dazes, it disappears from time to time. But I'm trying not to pump too much in here because we got a uh, smoke detector right there, smoke detector right there, a couple more up there, and yeah, well, another few over there. So yeah, I'm trying not to pump too much in here. But so far it's actually been pretty good. It hasn't set off these fire alarms, so. It's your boy Post. Alright, this is the last song for tonight. tear down time, everything shut off. Uh, Chris, how do you think it went? Yo, vape niche, dude. <laughs> My god, you're ridiculous. Uh, two PVs right there, and right there. Is there a, but there's a better look at the center fields because they're always behind the, the facade. The Edison Professional uh, M2000 and the Euro Live Behringer 1500, which actually did a pretty good job at filling this room with bass. Uh, acoustic wise, this room was amazing. For, for this type of stuff, because that echo is just right. So now we're just gonna pack everything up. We're starting with sound, and we're gonna work our way back to lighting. All right, and it's like a couple days later after the gig. <laughs> Actually, I just finished editing it and realized I never filmed an outro. So, basically, <laughs> So I really like this gig. I really like the energy of the crowd. I got really good compliments. Uh, after, at the end of it, I was told that they would definitely hire me again. Um, they saw what I do for Halloween, and they told me how they they own like a, uh, I think it was an ice cream shop, and that they think that my services would be perfect for Halloween. So maybe a little bit of Halloween haunted house action going on. But this gig was amazing. The only thing I didn't like about it is the fact we were in the middle of nowhere. Actually, the road we took like like I said the venue is on uh, prison grounds not in the actual prison but it's like on like it's like it's a prison it's prop pro property it's like a like a giant uh, it's like a banquet hall for um, the prison workers I guess and upon leaving the road I had to take was actually a dirt back road and uh, it was like all dirt and ruts and rocks and I was really praying that I didn't uh I didn't hurt my Impala me and Chris both made it home safely it was an amazing gig he had an amazing time it was actually his first time out on the road with me doing this so I, he's gonna be definitely he said he's gonna be tagging along with me a lot more 
when it comes to that. All right, that concludes this gig log. Had a lot of fun. Oh my God, I love showing you guys this stuff because I do more than just YouTube. I also do all this stuff. This is like one of my main passions is DJing. Uh, in fact, the job that I'm actually trying to get once I'm done with college is actually work in uh, the radio, radio industry. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna be done with YouTube. I've been doing YouTube for a long time. I'm still gonna be doing YouTube. All right, my friends, I'm including the gulag right here. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and also subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified every single time I upload a video. Goodbye, my friends, and always remember, stay true to the kingdom. Bye-bye.